Hi, I am Dr. Sharjeel and today I would like to present five different cases of herpes zoster of thalmacus, acute shingles of different ages and sexes. You are seeing the first patient, 70 years old male. You can see the rash, its extent, almost half of the whole head up to vertex. It has involved and you can see side of the nose now it respects the midline it is a very painful condition all patients presented with painful skin rashes rash respected the midline rash was maculopapular with vesicles in it now this patient presented in the resolving stage and now that's the old lady almost um, she is 75 years old and she has also got the right herpes zoster of thalmacus, acute shingles. Now she presented a bit early. Now her stage is two weeks. Mm -hmm. Now in this patient lids were also involved and she was unable to open the eyes and there was periorbital severe puffiness edema and conjunctivitis as well now that's the third patient a young lady and she has also got right side involvement with a very painful rash herpes zoster is a common uh, condition and one among three people developed this condition in their lifetime so it is that much common it is herpes zoster of thalmacus is a type of shingles involving the dermatome supplied by ophthalmic division of trigeminal nerve i may or may not be involved but in this patient you can see the boil on the tip of the nose that is known as hutchinson sign when hutchinson sign is positive i tend to be involved in this patient the eye was involved there was acute epithelial keratitis as well as conjunctivitis now that's the fourth patient the risk factors of uh, hzo are aids immunodeficiency due to any cause stress fatigue illness drugs old age but it can affect any age and especially in children always rule out hiv infection now how the infection starts first few days of fever fatigue malaise tiredness and headache and tingling itching and burning sensation in the involved dermatome is followed by painful erythematous rash within 24 hours group of vesicles appear and become confluent over the next two to three days eyelids become swollen sometimes conjunctivitis epithelial keratitis may also be seen the vesicles then pass through pustular phase before they crust and dry after two weeks the lesion heal to leave residual skin destruction and depigmented scars you can see all five patients are passing through different stages of acute shingles mainstay of treatment is oral antivirals if given within three days of rash onset it reduces the severity and duration of acute shingles and most importantly decrease the chances of post herpetic neuralgia now that patient is a crusting phase patient presents if patient presents later than three days but still in vesicular stage also get benefit from systemic antivirals a cyclovir 800 milligram five times a day four grams per day for seven to ten days is given along with it you can give systemic steroids one milligram for per kilogram for two weeks but if the patient is immunosuppress uh, then avoid it antibiotic analgesic steroid skin ointments creams can be applied over the rash it has a soothing effect topical medications if eye is involved patient can transmit chicken pox so bed rest plenty of fluids and avoid contact with other people is recommended usually it is treated by dermatologist in consultation with ophthalmologist and if immunocompromised infectious disease specialist as well there are two herpes zoster vaccines approved for the age above 50 so it reduces the incidence of zoster effectively in old age so that was all about the acute shingles herpes zoster of thalmakers thank you